church. Man, what a nice view from up top of the bins. Best place to be. Alright, so it's been quite a while since the last episode, and we have some corn growth, as well as the beans down there. So today, what we're going to be doing is spraying. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Y'all have been killing it with the videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Anyway, if I get all that done, I gotta mow this stupid lawn because that is getting tall. Alright, so what I have to do is I have to go hook up the spray trailer. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in the Mac here and we're gonna go head over there. We also gotta get it filled up with water and then we gotta get it filled up with spray. Now, what we're gonna do for the water is we're gonna go over here to the creek, which is plenty of water in the creek, so I'm not worried. And uh, we're gonna get that filled up and we've got the chemical right in the shed there so we're good to go on that Okay, there we go. We are all hooked up now. So I should have all the hoses on here. We should be good Actually, I gotta go around and check the tires real quick. Aha. This one's a bit low So we got to pull this thing up to the shed and fill it up real quick And that should be good. You know, it's always something. It's either a tire or this or that You know, you can never just go and do anything Okay, tires filled up. It's looking good. We should be good to go load some water on this thing and then uh, get to mixing some spray. All right, so we're just going to pull up right over here. That should be just going to want to pull up to the deeper part of the creek. There we go. That should be good right there. All right, well, I'm going to roll out the hose, start up the motor, and uh, yeah, we should be good to fill this thing up. And we are all filled up. Okay, so I got to take this thing back to the shop now, and we got to go grab the skid steer, get some more spray on this thing that way we can get it filled up and mixed also i did do a quick uh check on the sprayer made sure everything was good i'm working on it it is so we're good on that note well i just realized i gotta pull this stupid seed tender and dodge out of the way because it's in the way of my stupid spray there we go that's a bit better all right we got one pellet here so i'm just gonna go put this on the trailer and then i think one more i think only two pellets and we should be good these are some big old containers of spray, so I'm not very worried about running out. Okay, so here's my dilemma. So this thing sticks out way too far this way. So I gotta swap this pellet around, switch it for this side over here, and then same as this one. And then we should be good to uh, load it up. There we go. We should just have enough room to set it down there. All right, I got the second one here. This one should fit just perfectly. Okay, so now that we got the spray on the trailer here, we got to mix some of it up here. But you might be asking, well, Austin, why did you load all this stuff on my trailer if you're just spraying the surrounding fields around your house? Well, this is where all the mixing stuff is for it, and as well, it just makes it easier if the spray is right on the trailer. All right, so now that we got the truck and trailer over by the field, I got to go grab the sprayer here, and we're going to take that over there, get some spray in it, and uh, yeah, pretty much get to work and see how much we can get done. Not gonna lie, I really love the in-cab view of this sprayer. It's got a way better in-cab view than a lot of other vehicles, so it's pretty nice to uh, have one of these. All right, we're just gonna pull around here. Okay, I wanted to make sure I was on the right side there. I was like, uh, I might be on the wrong side, but no, we're on the right side here, so. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna get this thing filled up, and uh, I'll see you guys when we're done. Okay, so we're all filled up here. We're ready to go. I'm gonna jump back in the sprayer here and get up the stupid ladder. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're just gonna back this thing out of here and then we gotta get it unfolded here. Now I gotta make sure I gotta have tons of room because I don't wanna smack into anything. So we'll just back it up way back here. There, that should be plenty of room here. So we're just gonna unfold this here real quick. There we go. All right, it's plenty of room. We're gonna lower the boom here a bit. There, all right. Let's get some spraying done. So with this we can cruise along pretty good. Yeah, you can cruise along very nice. Now, I want to stay a good ways away from the creek. I got, don't want to get too close because you don't want to get sprayed in the creek, and that's never a good situation. Now, both these fields over here are corn, so yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. We're going pretty darn fast. Okay, so we're on our last pass for this field now. I got to go over to the next one here. The next one is quite a bit bigger here, so we'll just turn that off and turn it right back on. <laughs> Not too difficult. Also, at some point, one thing I do got to do is I got to come down here with an excavator. There's quite a lot of rocks and stuff in this creek. It's kind of starting to clog up just a little bit, and uh, we need the water for spraying. So what I got to do here is I eventually got to come down here with an excavator and just dig all of it out, get all the rocks and junk out of there. That way the creek can flow just a little bit better. Let's whip around here real quick. Yes, GPS is a wonderful thing, especially when you're doing fields like this. All right, so after this field, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go fill up just so we're all good. Might be able to spray just a little more on there, but we might just go fill up after this field. 
Actually, no, nah, we'll just spray the tank right empty. Well, it would appear that I ran out sooner than I thought. I have one last pass on this thing. So, yeah, we gotta go fill this thing up again. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good for a little while longer. All right, we just gotta pull up here and make sure we're coming up on the right side. Get nice and close. That way we don't have to stretch the hose too far. There we go. This thing's gonna need a wash off after we're done with it. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing filled up. And we are good to go again. We are on our way off to another field. Well, no, I still got one more pass left over there. And then we're done. Yeah, I kind of miscalculated the amount of spray. That last pass is that tree row, which was uh, which was what I was leaving for last. And off we go on the last pass to the tree row. I got to go around on one side, and then I got to come back for the other side, which is kind of stupid. Actually, you know what? We're just going to go and take this. We're going to go all the way right around. It'll, it'll take a minute, but we're going to go wait right uh, white 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 right around apparently that monster that i had this morning did not kick in yet and there we go this field is finished we're gonna fold this up here and we're gonna go over to the next field which is just over that way but unfortunately what we do have to do is since there's a creek here which i would love to build a little bridge that'd be awesome so maybe at some point we're gonna go all the way around all the way around way up to the shop but the goal was for today was just to get the corn done. So as long as we get the corn done, I think we're going to be good. And I also got to do some mowing with the bat wing, So that needs to get done as well. So I guess we'll see what happens. Now I was going to do the beans, but they don't need it at the moment. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit longer, probably another week or so. And then uh, they should be good. So let's get this thing unfolded here. All right. At least we're not so close to the creek. Well, we kind of are, but not as close as we were last time. And we can... Take it easy a little bit. Not have to watch it so closely. Okay. I want to make sure we're all on ground here when we start spraying because this stuff is not cheap. Now, we should have plenty enough spray to finish this one off. I hope at least. I don't want to have to go back and fill up again. Maybe I miscalculated. I'm not sure. But it does look like the corn's growing in very nicely. I'm not complaining. It's looking amazing. Finally, for once, we're going to have a good crop this year. And finally, we are on our last pass for this field. And then it's off back to the yard. Get the trailer back there. Got to flush the mixer out and stuff. And there we go. Okay, we're done on that. And we'll fold this up here. Yeah, we got to flush the mixer out. Because, yeah, we got, yeah we're, we're pretty good. Sprayed the last of what was in our tank. So that's good. Also, we got to flush the tank because we're using a different kind of spray for the soybeans. So that has to be done before we do the soybeans. All right, where am I going to park this? Because I need to give this thing a good wash. Um, We'll just park it in front of the toy shed right now. That should be good. And then I got to go grab the semi. I, of course, left the lights on. Okay, there we go. Lights off. Let's get this beast back. Now, this pellet over here, this one is empty. So we got to... We gotta take this one off and get rid of it. Now, you can see what I mean when I said the lawn needs to be mowed in like the worst way. It is not looking too great. I need to also get the, the riding mower out or the zero turn and uh, definitely mow the house lawn. But for the farm lawn, that needs to be done too. I don't know where the heck I'm going. I completely went the wrong way. Okay, well, we gotta go around again. Yay. Okay, now we're going the right way. And we're just gonna pull that over here for now. That should be good. All right, now it's time to get out the smallest tractor that we have on the farm, which is this one right here. This is what we run on the bat wing. Now, I do have to take the loader off because I don't really need it on. And, yeah, it just makes it harder to get around tighter places. So, we're just going to put it right here, which should be good. All right, so we'll just go over here, back in here, up to the bat wing. There we go. All right, we got the pin in here. I need to get the PTO attached. And there. All right, time to do some mowing. Time to get this yard actually looking half decent because right now it don't look too good. So you need to change that. I wonder if I could mow around the house with that. Uh, I don't really want to wreck the house lawn. But it's okay. I think it's okay for like more of the back areas and stuff. But for right up above the house there, I don't think uh, I don't think mowing with this would be the best choice. Just back here I think is good. But we are getting grass all over the road again, which I do hate to do. But oh well. Uh, I got to move those stinking logs out of the way probably grab the skid steer and we'll just probably push him out of the way and then uh, we should I'll just probably push him into the bush actually that might be a better choice and just mark him with flags that way I know where they are and around the bush we can leave parts there I'm not very worried with that but it's kind of in the main areas and stuff where I want all mowed like around the shop or around the unloading ramp or the loading ramp whatever you want to call it probably just call it a loading ramp take it right on down the tree row make sure it's looking all nice 
Now, one thing I would love to do is get one of those massive grasshopper mowers. Those massive grasshopper zero turns, those are awesome. Just for mowing the lawn over here, we have the John Deere zero turn, but uh, it just make, would make it easier if we had one of those. It would definitely be nice. Also, again, I gotta wash off that sprayer at some point today. And I gotta move the Super B. And the header trailer. <laughs> the list never ends. What in the heck is this? I don't remember that being back there. Well, as long as it don't stink, I don't really care. Get on down here by the creek, clean it all up. There we go, looking good, looking good. All right, that's a pretty steep drop off there. Sheesh, keep away from that one. This stuff is so dang tall, you could probably, hey, hey, maybe that's what I should do at some point. Yeah, I don't know what happened here, but um, I feel like that's not very realistic. All right, we got a good portion of this done over here, so now I gotta do in these trees. Now this is the difficult part because you can snag the mower real easy on some trees. Pretty tight back here, but if you're careful, you should be fine. All right, so we got most inside the trees done, so I'm gonna go grab the bobcat. We're gonna go push those logs out of the way. That way I can mow over that and not totally wreck the blades on the lawnmower. Also, we gotta flag them off there just to make sure that we do not run over them in the future. I also gotta turn this off. There we go. All right, we'll just move this out of the way. We got the forks on, so that's perfect. Makes it pretty darn easy. We'll just push it right back here. There we go. Nice and out of the way. You know what I might just do is I might just go grab the trailer and just honestly stick them on there. So we'll, I'll just leave the skids here over here. That way we can do that a bit later today. Okay, I'm going to say that's good for now. So I'm going to go grab the trailer. We're going to go load those up. I also got to wash all this stuff off. Look at this. It's ridiculous. How the heck does the mower get that dirty? And we got ourselves a trailer. If I can hook up the trailer lights. Is it just me or do I have to adjust this drop hitch? Because, yeah, that looks... Just, just a little load. Maybe up a notch or two, and then it'll be good. All right, there we go. If we can get out of here without snaking any trees. Just a little more, a little more. And there we go. All right, two more logs, I think. Oh, boy, this one's a big one. But it is rotten, so it's not terribly heavy. But it'll go onto the forks, which would be nice. Last one to go, if we can get this one on, too. Sometimes it can be a pain, but this one, we got on fine. Okay, good. And on to the trailer. I said on, on, on. To, come on. Is this log just defying gravity right now? Because it sure looks like it. There we go. Okay, now that that's loaded up here, uh, we got one more. Well, that's not even worth coming to pick up the skid steer, so I'm just going to grab that. There we go. That's better. All right, off to the fire pit we go. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this over here by our woodshed for now, and then uh, I'm going to just detach this, and then we can deal with the uh, all the logs and stuff later should be good actually there's a decent amount here they're all pretty rotten but I think we should still be able to cut them up into logs and then burn them they'll burn super fast but oh well it'll still work for a good campfire so I don't think I'm gonna wash off the mower quite yet but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go hook this thing back up to the fuel trailer and then we're gonna go wash that sprayer off because we won't need to use that for probably another week I'm gonna say get some cleaning done over here make sure it's all nice and clean for when we put it back in the shed Wash them booms off, make sure that's all good. I need to get a longer hose for this pressure washer or just back the sprayer up more. There we go. A little more on the tires here, make sure those are all clean. Don't want to get a track a bunch of mud in the shop. And there we go. Now I would put it in this shed, but that shed is absolutely packed to the brim with equipment. So yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna put it back into the main shop. Now the question is, am I gonna have to move? Uh, I'll just go open up the other door. And then, uh, yeah, we should have lots of space in the other bay. Okay, so I moved the 8R out of the way just to make sure we had lots of room to back this thing in. Because this thing's got duels. So, uh, yeah, you uh, you back this thing in and you can definitely smack something. Oh, yeah, we got tons of room over here. What, what the heck are you doing in here? You know you can't be in here. He's shaking his head because he knows. Yeah, there you go. He's gone. Get out of here, bird. Oh, no, there's another one. Hey, hey, out of here. Get out of my shop. What the heck is going on? All right, I'm just going to drop this diesel trailer right here because we're not going to need it for a little while yet. Not till harvest probably because for spraying, honestly, you just come back to the yard because we don't have to go too far for spraying. And uh, you can just come back and fill, fuel up. Now, the seed tender I have yet to deal with. We're just going to put it back in the shed here because I don't really feel like opening up that shed and trying to move around equipment for that. Yeah, it's just not worth it. All right, well, the farm is looking about a million times better here. I'm going to go and grab some supper. And then I'll probably go get some more mowing done a bit later. 
But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Y'all have been killing it. We're so close to 40k. I think we're, like, less than 400 away. So if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>